So I'm live. Oh, stream health is good. I am live streaming people. Hello. Is anyone here yet? Hello, hello. Is anyone here yet? Hola. Stream health is good. I am live streaming people. We'll put that on mute so I can get feedback from that, Dustin. Hello, hello. Is anyone here yet? Hola. Yeah, turn that earlier. I've disappeared in Otherwise. If you're playing that, I'm going to be hearing that like 10 seconds later because it's, uh... You don't have to scream, though. Okay. So you guys can, uh... Hello, Vale Romero. Can you hear me good? Does everything look good? Today, I'm going to be doing my first live video of learning Spanish on the website Duolingo. Or, I'm going to learn how to hablo espanol. <laughs> you're not the premier hello because the person... Oh, no, you are. No, that's the same person. Never mind. So you are the first hello. <laughs> So, should I say hello back? Um, so, I'm going to get started now. On, uh, can I see this online? No, I don't want this. I want to show the chat. There we go. Okay, so I can see the chat on my other computer here, and I'm going to start the Spanish lesson. So this is Duolingo. Um, I'm going to be learning some Spanish. My name is Nihil One First. I don't know. I think I've created uh, a, a username on this before, and it has the name Nihil, but like I'm starting over. Like I, I did this a long time ago, but not live. Like I did edited videos, but I want to do this live. Because anyone that like follows me on social media is like, oh, since you live here in Argentina, you should speak more Spanish. Well, <laughs> Dolly, God damn it, I'm gonna start doing that right now. Um, so yeah. <laughs> Shh. Ignore, ignore the man sitting behind me on, on the webcam. He's just uh, <gasps> uh, doing the work here. So I'm gonna get right started. So you can choose your path: uh, beginner, start at introduction, advanced, take short test. Uh, and then it says intro or placement test. Um, I guess I'm going to do the intro because I'm a beginner. So uh, let's see what happens. Um, select the word for the girl. That'd be la niña, or I can hit one here. Let's la see. niña. Okay, so how do I know? Oh, I just hit. Okay, that's correct. Okay, I think I can just hit enter to continue. Select the word for the woman. That'd be la mejor. La mujer. La, la mujer. La niña. So la niña would be the girl. So I have to click on the girl. I can't like type it in. <clears throat> uh, okay. Select the word for the man. Um. They didn't tell me that one, right? So that's the, that's the one that didn't tell me that be. Okay, so the boy would be El Nino, which is the, uh, the opposite of La Nina, because uh, um, Spanish is masculine. So that would be, that'd be saying, I am a boy. I am a boy. That is correct. Yo soy una mujer. So that, that would be mean I am a woman. <laughs> I'll be a woman soon. <laughs> Isn't that a song? <laughs> this is pretty basic stuff. I gained 10 XP. Uh, whatever that means. Achievement unlocked. I'm a sharpshooter. Congrats, you completed one lesson or practice without getting anything wrong. Yay! If you were saying, we'd be in on the chat. Uh, memorize new cards with flashcards. Check out flashcards. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. So, intro says, does that mean there's another intro? Uh, so, daily go. Uh, it says, I got one out of ten out of one. I don't know. Um, can I take another? I guess there's three lessons on intro, so let's take the second one. Select the word for the apple. That'd be I know the word for manzana. apple. Those are the only words I know in Spanish. The words for. Okay, so usted come 
means um, that means um, uh, you eat. I love how this be you, like both capital and lowercase. Oh, I said you eat a apples. I'm not supposed to put a if it's a. Ella come una manzana. So a shall would be she eats. This is a single, so it'd be an apple. So I have to know like proper English and do this correctly as well as Spanish. So you eat apples would be uh, tu, uh, it would be plural, uh, since you're saying apples. Uh, so that would say you are a man. Yay. Eres un hombre. Uh, that would be he is a man. So he is a man is LS un hombre. Oh, it's, it's trying to, uh, it's, wait. No, it's trying to trick me. I almost hit the wrong one. <laughs> Usted come manzanas. Uh, that means you eat. Uh, oh, wait, no, no, wait. How do I? That's supposed to be capitalized. It's going gonna, it's gonna to say it's wrong if I don't use the U that's capitalized, is it? And then the manzanas has an S, so it's plural. Please wait, I think that's the end of the lesson. It says I got 10 more XP. Uh, I don't want to do this. Okay. Hey, people are saying I'm doing good here on the lesson so far. Will we be in that uh, hill? Thumbs up, uh, smiley face for uh, Romero. Oh, that's the same person again. There's not very many people watching this, is there? Nine people now. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, we'll see the next lesson now. Lesson three, the third intro lesson. Stop right clicking, left click. Okay, so now I'm going to learn the words for milk, apparently. is leche, la leche. So that's la uh, de feminine, not masculine. Uh, for so the alpan would be bread. Usted come, yo bebo. So bobo. Bobo means like drink. Okay, so that's a new. Okay, so I guess if it's a different color, that's a word they haven't taught me yet. So I can always go over it and it'll say that bebo means drink. So that'd be you. Wait. Eat. Wait, I'm confused. Call me. You. Usted. But that means you eat. Oh, there's a cut. You eat, I drink doesn't sound right. Is that the correct answer, though? <laughs> that sentence doesn't quite make sense. <laughs> okay, agua is water. I know that. That's easy. Tu comes manzanas? Okay, so now it's a question mark. So does that mean you eat apples? Instead of saying you eat apples, it'd be like you eat apples? <laughs> right, I guess I'd say do you eat apples? Because uh, it's a question. I don't know, I guess, yeah. So that means like yes. you eat. That means like you eat. That's. I got you right. Come to so that means I eat uh, apples, or yeah, I eat apples. <laughs> okay, mark the correct meaning. Do you eat bread? That'd be uh, so. Comes sandwich would be like sandwich, not bread. So if it's asking us, so it'd be number two then. That's correct. This is pretty easy actually. <laughs> Uh, get Duolingo Plus to disable ads. Oh, no, thank you. I probably 
Okay, no, I, I don't want to right click here. So I reached level one in introduction. Um. Oh, so I guess there's more levels here, or I can go down here and take. So I can either take three lessons here, or I can take. Or there's looks like there's three lessons on phrases, or three four lessons on travel. I don't know, should I do like phrases? Should I do phrases or travel next? People should say if I do phrases or travel next. What do you guys think? I vote for travel. You vote for travel? Hi, hola. I should choose travel. I guess there's, well, there's four lessons out. Yes, I'm gonna travel. Okay, since so uh, Dustin says travel and someone in the text says travel, so I guess I'm gonna do travel. There's 10 people watching now. Select the word for passport. Um, <laughs> so it literally says passport in the picture. El pasporte. Pa pa pasaporte. El pasaporte. El pasaporte. Uh, so it's basically <laughs> the passport's the same word in Spanish and English, so that's always good. Select the word for suitcase. La maleta. I've never really called that. Do they have a different word for it here in Argentina? La maleta. La maleta. Oh no, suitcase. Okay, no, because usually I use backpack. It's called something different. Un taxi. Okay, that means a taxi. And I have to use the A that's capitalized since it's capitalized mm. on un. Select the word for phone. El teléfono. El teléfono. Yo necesito agua. I. Okay, so necesito is a new word. Necesito. So ne okay, necesito means to need. I thought that meant necessary for something. Okay, so ne necesito. Show necesito water. Hey, Dustin. Yeah. Show necesito water. Show <laughs> necesito water? <laughs> or agua. <laughs> I need water. Okay, so 444 means like, uh, please. Uh. So, sh show necesito agua, por favor. Hey, Dustin. <laughs> show necesito walk up. <laughs> show necesito agua, por favor, Dustin. Dustin. I've never seen you so excited about learning Spanish. This is pretty basic, though. Um, I'm up to uh, 40 XP now. Okay, so should I do... Okay, let's go back and forth between phrases and travel until I get this level, uh, set of levels done, I guess. Buenos dias. So these are phrases. So buenos dias means uh, good morning. Except they don't say good morning here. They actually just say, like, buen dia in Argentina. Buenas noches. That means uh, good night. Uh, or good evening, I guess. Or the, see, okay, so here's the thing. In English, they'll say good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night. But in Spanish, they only have three different phrases. So does it technically translate to evening or night? I guess it can mean both. Because they just say tarde, uh, dias tardes and noches. It's kind of weird. Make the correct meaning, good night. Uh, buenos noches. Buenos noches! Oh wait, oh wait, they're trying to trick me with the, the, the feminine and the masculine here. I also said buenos no chase, and it's buenas no chase. So mucho gusto, write this in English. So that means, uh... They didn't tell me what mucho gusto means. That means, uh... Gusto. Mucho. That just means nice to meet you? They, well, okay, so in Spanish, in different, like, regions, like, they don't really say mucho gusto in Argentina. They'll usually say, like, uh, like, un, un placer, uh, I guess. Uh, so what was I doing? Nice to meet you. Hola, buenos dias. Hola, buenos dias. Hello, good morning. Uh, it doesn't make me put in the comma, does it? Comma. Okay, so make the correct meaning. Good morning. It's buenos dia. Bueno, 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 buenos dias. No, buenos. Uh, 
They're trying to confuse me with the masculine and feminine thing again. Hola. Gracias. He Wait, hello, thanks. Usually they'll say, like, muchos gracias. Muchos. Good morning is buenos dias. They're, they're, trying to, they're trying to trick me with the maximum feminine stuff. Okay, so I did a phrases one. Uh, overachiever, you earn 50 XP in a day. Uh, I don't feel like an overachiever. This is like very basic stuff. Uh, so we're going to go back to travel again. Mi hotel. Uh, that would be my hotel. O hotel is, o is hotel. It's the same thing, except you don't pronounce the H. Aquí. Aquí means, uh, here. I know that because people are like, Vení aquí! Vení aquí! And Dustin still didn't bring me the water that I asked for in Spanish. Oh, I thought you were joking. <laughs> uh, that means I need a passport. Uh, everyone needs a passport. Or, oh no, tango means... Or I have. Yo tengo un pasporte. I mean, a a anyone that travels has to have one, and obviously, uh, the correct meaning of I have a passport is, you just asked me that, so now you're asking me in the other, the, uh, from Spanish, English, English, and Spanish. That's a very hard question, dude. Yeah, you know? uh, uh, so that means, okay, so reserva is reservation, so that would be like my reservation. Pretty... Donde? Donde? Where? Donde? Where is my passport? Donde? Continue. Where? Is donde? They just told say that. Zero eight four nine. Why, why, why are you bringing that up? You need to promote it. Oh, do you have the do you have the link for it? Okay, yeah. so I have more people chatting now. I, hey, look, I've got twelve people watching me here. Uh. I go ahead and put uh, open English. So people are saying stuff and they're laughing at me. They're saying hola, hola Colorado. And then they're saying all this stuff into a... Um... Okay, so I just did a travel and I'll go back to phrases again. If I go back and forth, and it, if you go back and forth and, le and learn different things, it'll probably make me like learn this stuff better. Agua, por favor. Agua, por favor. Hey, hola, Dustin. Agua, por favor. Okay. Maestro, maestro. Invite in people to join. Tell people to swipe up to see you on. on oh, oh, Dustin, Dustin, I guess here, is here. doing a uh, <laughs> swipe up to join and watch me right now learn English or learn Spanish. Oh my god! <laughs> I just said it wrong. I'm not learning English. I'm learning Spanish. Uh, so what was I saying? Oh, uh, that means water, please. Uh, I'm a um, that means I'm sorry, Dustin. Dustin, I'm, I'm doing your social media. I can Los siento, Dustin. Los siento, Dustin. Oh wait, no, it means I am. So oh wait, <laughs> it means mm -hmm. I am sorry. Los siento. I just said I sorry. <laughs> I can't even do. es una niña. I understand the meaning though. Um. Wait a minute. Is it saying she is not a girl? That doesn't make sense. As soon as she sees she's a girl. Ella she no is not es a girl. Niña. I don't get this. Why why is it saying that's that, that that sentence cannot make sense? She's not a girl. Unless of course you're just saying that she's an older woman and not a younger girl, but I mean Dude, you should say hi to people, like interact with people who are more like saludos. Oh, sorry. Um, so, I, so between each lesson, I should talk to the people in the chat. You're saying, yeah. Uh, mark the correct meaning of no is not her. So that'd be uh, that one. No, no is ella or Asia. Perdón. 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 Uh, that means like sorry or pardon. Do people say pardon in English? in English? I actually say excuse me. Like pardon, I would think would be like excuse me, not pardon. Pardon, pardon. I guess pardon is more of a southern. 
Are you trying to just say, like, excuse me, please, if I... Uh, sí, ella es una niña. Yes, she is a girl. Yes, comma, she is a girl. Correct! Mark the correct meaning of, yes, thank you. Sí, gracias. Lo siento. Lo siento. That's I am sorry, because I just said I sorry before, which doesn't make sense. I always use proper English, Naiho. And now I'm talking about myself in the third person. Hey, I have more people here. Oh, I just like doubled the number of people watching. That's because Doug doesn't yeah, do social media. Using your social hey, media. Hey, look, people are saying thank you, like in English, because I guess they're thanking me. Uh, Say, just speak, try to speak in Spanish if you will. Si, gracias. Lontinte. You're welcome. Ha, ha, ha. People are laughing at me. Nah, he. Nah, he. Nah, <laughs> they're nah, laughing he. at me because this is so easy. This is like very basic stuff. I, I, I haven't like really screwed up too much yet, except maybe mixing up some of the masculine and feminine. So I'm going to go, I'm going back and forth between travel and phrases. Um... So the airport is literally a picture of an airport. So, el aeropuerto. El aeropuerto. 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 El. Aeropuerto. El aeropuerto. Aero. Aeropuerto. Puerto, yeah. Yeah. Well, <laughs> select the word for more money. Uh, el dinero. El dinero. 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 El dinero. Un boleto, por favor. Boleto, that's a new one. Um, I could probably guess uh, by reading these. So it'd be like a... Uh, would it be a ticket or a train? It would have to be one of those two. I don't know what boleto. boleto. That means, I, I think train is like... Uh, oh wait, why did I just... <laughs> a ticket, please. Oh, so the word for the train is, yeah, it's el tren. El tren. Tren. So train is train. Train. It's like, it's... it's en el autobús. Oh, that means a bus. So that'd be... In the bus. ¿Dónde está tu pasaporte? Where is your passport? Always travel with your passport, ladies and gentlemen, or else they won't let you enter. <laughs> Write this in English. Uh, my money. Give me my money. Dustin, where's my... Don't they, don't they mean dinero, Dustin? <laughs> so I'm a sharpshooter. I got that, but I got two stars now. Uh, so I got five lessons without getting anything incorrect. Uh... People are saying ma ha 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 uh, in both Spanish and English. People are saying my money, give me my money. You should skip the first part. You seem to understand very well. Can you skip it? Um, I think there's a thing you can. Well, you can test out, but um, I should probably do some of the restaurant family ones. And I th do I have to learn some of these ones before I can test out? So test out of five skills. If I go down, there's also all this stuff too. Test out of 13 skills. Uh, I could try to test out on one of these. Does that mean I can't do any more of these lessons though? I'll try this. Oh, okay. Oh, see, now it's not giving me things to choose. Now I actually have to like write it. If I misspell this, is it gonna like be wrong? Uh, a fish burger. Okay, see, this is why I didn't want to try to test out of it because it was supposed to like teach me restaurant stuff. So I'm not gonna get this. Un, uh, 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 fish would be, uh, it's like, uh, yeah, I'm not gonna get this. Can I like like not do this? Can I like go back? What? What's the issue? Yeah. Okay. Maybe I need to learn some of the restaurant stuff before I, I test out. Reach level one in all skills above. Oh, I can't unlock. Dude, 
That's the point, is you, you're not supposed to get it. Okay. You don't know Spanish. Well, because someone says you should skip some of this, but apparently I can't skip it yet until I, I complete these lessons. And I can't test out because I haven't learned all the words yet. So, <laughs> I guess I can't skip it yet because I don't know that much yet of the advanced stuff. Adios. Disculpe. Disculpe. They didn't teach me. So, this one they didn't teach Disculpe. me. Disculpe. Excuse me or pardon. So, you don't usually say, uh, goodbye, sorry? Does that even make sense? Or, or, or is that like, uh, excuse, uh, so, goodbye, excuse Disculpe. me? Disculpe. Why would you say goodbye, excuse me? Does that even make sense for people to say? Goodbye, excuse me! <laughs> Can I sing, please? I, dude, uh, I have a question. Like, are you are you supposed to, like, cheat? No, the ones that are in orange are, like, new words that they haven't English. taught me yet. See? English. So that's not even, uh... You speak English. That means, do you speak English? I wasn't say, do you speak English? Oh, my sister just say you speak English. That doesn't quite make, that doesn't make sense. No. Nope. That's hilarious. Yeah, I knew you were <laughs> Tu eres ingles means like, are you English? Oh. Tu eres ingles, like, are you English? Like, are you from England? Are you? Oh, English? okay. Are you English? Okay, that makes sense. I thought they are saying if you speak it. Hablas español. There. Okay. That's speak. But in Argentina, they don't say that. They say castellano. Habla oh, castellano, yeah, yeah, no. Uh, so, this means do you speak Spanish? Do you speak Espanol? No, I do not. That's why I'm doing this. Yo hablo Espanol. <laughs> I do not speak Spanish. <laughs> I, but, this is, but I don't see a word for do not. So I guess I'll have to say I do speak Spanish. <laughs> or... Well, and I said I speak Spanish, not I do speak Spanish. That's not correct English either. Uh, I speak English. Uh, yo hablo inglés. Tú eres inglés. Uh, so be like, are you English? <laughs> that I, I, I apparently just that's the one I learned. Oh well God, dude. Do you speak English? You say, you say no. So no, I've sorry. reached level one in common phrases. Okay, so let's talk back to someone saying Dustin. Come on, la gente. Blanc, blanca chacón. Saludos a Blanca. Uh, we're saying, still saying to do more travel stuff. Okay, so now that I completed, I guess I can talk to people, man. I am, but someone's someone's yelling at you. Keyboard keyboard glass is like, you need to communicate with other people. In oh, here. please, you need to. Oh, okay. So say hi to these people. Hello, keyboard glasses. Uh, people are saying to do more travel ones. Uh, todo bien, Che. Che Gaston, what's up, baby? <laughs> uh, thank you for everyone that's watching. I'm now I'm 13 people. Uh, I should go to the next lesson, I guess. I guess once I do travel, um, it'll open up restaurant and family. Um, la calle. La calle. Except, calle or calle? Uh, the street. El hospital está aquí. The hospital is here. The hospital is the same as hospital, except you don't pronounce the H. Donde está el banco? Where is the bank? Where? Or there are actually where is the bank? Banco. Uh, Donde está el banco? El hotel está cerrado. Cerrado. That means closed, because I see that on the outside of, 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 of businesses when they're not open. Um, so the hotel is closed. Está el supermercado? Well, that sounded really slow. Donde está el supermercado? 
That means where, or where is, where's the... See, if I had, like, the apostrophe S and the is, I'd probably say it wrong, even though they're both, I guess, technically correct. El baño. El baño. The bathroom. Donde esta el baño? I don't know how to say that in Spanish, but then when they say, like, turn left and right and left and then take the third right, like, super fast, that to me, I won't understand. <laughs> Okay, so, noticed me, Mr. Nihil, says Franco, Moises, uh, more people, uh, they're, they're, they're laughs at me, uh, hello to Sebastian, hello to Franco, hello to Arthur, Mr. Store, uh, RG says, keep up with the good work, Dijo Duolingo. Um, yeah, I can't keep up with the work so far, because this is actually, uh, pretty, like, basic stuff. I've, uh, I got two stars on this medal, so. Um, all right, I've unlocked restaurant and family. I can also up. I can also like these. Also have like there's like three more lessons here, three more lessons here, four more lessons here. Um, I think I want to fill out these. How long have I been streaming for, by the way? I don't even know. I think if I go here, I can see. Thirty one minutes. Or not go here, it says. 31 and a half minutes I've been streaming for, apparently. And up here says there's 45 people watching it, but on the other computer down here it says there's 35 watching, so I don't know which is correct. Um, I guess I'll do the restaurant and family ones. How many lessons each? This has four, and this has four. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna go back and forth between restaurant and family, so that'll be more eight more short lessons. And then maybe I'll think about uh, in the stream after that. So I got some more people on here before I keep going. Walter, uh, CSNS says hello. How do I pre uh, People are laughing at you. Why? Oh, that's what that means or something? Uh, oh, something like vamos. <laughs> CC Mike. Uh, oh, you're saying we are not laughing at you. Well, yes. Uh, well, because I'm doing this, you're probably not going to laugh at me. But um, this is pretty basic stuff. But honestly, I'm like, I'm like the... After I do enough of these, I can try to like test out of this. Basically. I think the point is that after three and a half years, I hope you would get these things correct. Living, <laughs> three and a half years immersed in it, living in a Spanish-speaking country. Yeah, yeah. We hope you would get these things. I mean, I guess you have to go through the basic ones before you can actually get to the harder ones. Because uh, when I tried to click on the test out, I completely sucked at that. So I, got, I guess I got to get, like, higher levels first. So, uh, El Restaurante. El Restaurante. Uh, Debo is La Mesa. La yeah. Una mesa para tres personas. Una mesa para tres personas. So that would mean a table for three people. A table for three people. Una mesa para dos personas. A table for two people. Why would it ask me that if it literally just asked me the one for three? Oh, apparently dos is a new word that they're teaching me. <laughs> Uno, dos, tres. One, two, three, one, two, three. <laughs> El restaurante está cerrado. Why? Is the restaurant closed? <laughs> Why? For qué? The restaurant is closed. I gotta remember Una those. mesa para dos personas. So am I supposed to, uh, let me repeat that? Uh, oh, I guess I have to allow the microphone. Allow. Okay. No, I didn't start saying it yet! <laughs> it said it's wrong, even though... Uno, dos, I didn't even get a chance to say it! <laughs> it said I was wrong, I didn't even try to say the thing yet. So, is it gonna... So, it didn't even bring up the, the, the be practicing pronunciation thing again. It just said I passed the lesson. 
I'm gonna take your streak for seven more days and we'll double your lingot lingot wager. I don't I don't know what that means, but sure. Um so I was gonna go back and forth between restaurant and family. Select the word for the car. El carro. El carro. I thought it was uh auto, not caro. La madre. La madre. Continue. Mi casa. Oh, my house. So. Casa. Casa is a new word, so I should probably like always scroll from the new words. El es elegante. Oh. Oh no, wait. Capital he. If I if I choose the lowercase he, he's gonna make it like uh incorrect. So elegante. Um. I don't know if I've ever heard this word before, but I know it's not women, so it has to be elegant. Elegante. <laughs> tu padre. Oh. Ella es inteligente. Oh, she is Ill smart or intelligent, I guess. <laughs> I mean, smart, intelligent are synonyms, so. Uh, she is intelligent. She is intelligent. El tiene un carro. Mm. Tien? Does that mean has, I'm assuming? Has a car. Tiene. Tiene. Okay, so DNA is the new word of the day. It means has, apparently. That's probably an important word to memorize. Okay, let's talk to more people. Hello, that was funny. Uh, people are giving me like laughing faces. Vamos, Nahil. Pipodes. Some heart symbols. It says I have 38 people watching now. That's good. Um, let's keep going. I don't know. Do you guys want me to interact more with the chat or do... Um, lessons faster? What's better? I guess doing... Okay, so, el pescado is fish. El pescado. El pescado. Continue. Select the word for cheese. That's my favorite word! The so. cheese! Or el carne, I guess would be my favorite uh, word. Continue. Una hamburguesa. Por favor. <laughs> I don't know how to say that. A burger... Please. Select the word for sandwich. Uh, sandwich. 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 The meat. La carne. La carne. The best in the world in Argentina, baby. Oh, pescado. With fish. Wait, so what's with fish? It's That's like we can Oh, a sandwich with fish or a fish sandwich. Well, same thing. <laughs> I guess I would say condiment would be with oh, fish. So, I don't know. That's like a weird way of saying it, I guess. Un sandwich de pescado. Or no, that means. Uh, uh, It'd be a fish sandwich. Uh, that's like a weird way to say it. A fish sandwich or sandwich with fish. What's what's correct in English to say it? It doesn't make sense to me. Uh, family, start two of four of family. Gato! El gato. El gato. El perro. El perro. He's already known. Muy elegante. Oh, that means very intelligent. Or elegant. <laughs> I read that too fast. <laughs> I thought it said intelligent. Mi casa es grande. My house is big! I mean, not very big. Uh, mine be, uh, it'd be like medium sized. Ella tiene un gato. 
Yo tengo una hermana. Uh, I have a... Yo tengo una... Oh, no, okay. Oh, hermano means brother, so hermana must mean sister. Hey, I learned something new every day. Mi hermano. Okay, hermano is my brother. I knew that. I already knew hermano. Or if you say, like, friend, you say, like, hey, che, hermano. But that's more like an Argentine thing. Um. Uh, okay, so, el dede un perro. No, no, no. Dien, no. I almost said the wrong word. Muy elegante. So, uh, very elegant, not intelligent. Elegante. Intelligent would be intelligente, intelligente. Keep going. Yay, I got more stuff. Oh, it seems to be slowing down. Do a Q&A. Take a break after every test and talk to people. Okay. Yeah, probably. Um, do a Q&A. I should be studying right now, though, but this is funnier. What are you studying? Are you trying to... If you're studying English, you can just keep watching me, because it, it's going the opposite direction, maybe. But if you're trying to study something else, maybe that's not good. But as long as you're studying something. <laughs> uh, yeah. Awesome. And people are saying that was funny. Take a break after exit test and talk to the people. I read that comment. Um, vice versa. Greetings from Sweden. Um, okay, hello, uh, Ather Mestor from Sweden. Um, <laughs> do you know any Spanish? Or did you just like randomly get on this? <laughs> Or are you in Argentine living in, uh, living in Sweden, maybe? I don't know. Or a Spanish person living in Sweden? Oh, that's kind of weird. <laughs> someone from Sweden is watching someone from the United States who's living in Argentina learning Spanish on Duolingo. Small world, our uh, author. <laughs> I don't know English, but I guess you helped me, LOL. The bad thing is Duolingo is that you have to make sure you get little of the words you put in the, in the brackets. Oh, okay, so the guy from Sweden is half Argentine. <laughs> Small world then, that's kind of, that's cool. Nice to meet you, uh, Ather, so... Uh, I will start the next lesson, I guess. Uh, so we're gonna go back to food-related stuff again. The cup. Uh, la taza. La taza. Can you also say copa? Select the word for juice. Uh, el jugo. El jugo. Si leche, por favor. I always take my coffee without milk. Sin means without. Leche means milk. Uh, please. All right, continue. Select word for coffee, El Cafe. Without coffee, I would cease to function in this world. <laughs> Orange, La Naranja. Un vaso. Mm. A glass. El Azúcar. El Azúcar. Una taza. I gotta remember to talk more. A cup, una taza. All right. Let's continue back to family. Start. Select the word for family. La familia. La familia. Fa familia. Familia. Grandfather. Abuelo. El abuelo. I, I don't think I've heard that before. El abuelo. El abuelo. Mi esposo es inteligente. My, my. Okay. 
Esposo means, uh, I, I'm assuming it means spouse, so then as I would say esposo or espasa, meaning if you mean husband or wife. But I don't have a husband because I'm a man, so unless... Um, uh, intelligent. My husband Perfect. is intelligent. Perfect! I did that perfectly! Perfecto! Esposa. <laughs> Uh, your wife to esposa. So esposa is wife, and esposo is husband. I'm Mi learning abuela. new words every day. My abuela. Ab abuela. My grandmother. Does that mean abuelo? It would mean grandfather? Or they already taught me that one, didn't they? Tu so, apartamento yeah. es bonito. Um, so tu would be your apartment. Apartamento is apartment, is, uh, bo is bonito. Bonito must mean pretty. Because normally I'll say bueno, not bonito. I wouldn't call it pretty. Mi abuelo. My grandfather! <laughs> this is very basic stuff. All right, let's go back to the chat. Okay, the bathroom out. Okay, I already read that one. Uh, half Argentine. Uh, Gaston says in Argentina. Food, my favorite subject. Hola, muy bien, Nihil. Thank you, guys. Thank you for everyone watching. You and Dustin should go to Scandinavia sometime. Hmm. Is it? It's actually summer this time of year there, isn't it? So it's probably really nice out in uh, Scandinavia. Maybe someday, who knows? Okay, so I did family last, I'm gonna go back to restaurant again. Salt, a salt. Yes, a salad, por favor. Tomate. El tomate. So tomato, tomate. Tomato, tomato. Carne o pescado. Meat or fish. The only answer to this question is yes. <laughs> I don't know the word for both yet, because it didn't teach me the word for both yet. Yo necesito la cuenta. Oh, I need your... Or, I no, I need the, I need the check. La cuenta, por favor, maestro, la cuenta, por favor. Necesito. Necesito la cuenta. I want both. Can I choose both meat and fish? I'm hungry. Oh. Una ensalada, por favor. No, I do not want a salad. <laughs> uh, oh no, wait. If I don't pick the capitalized A, it's gonna make it. Yo necesito pagar. Ah, necesito means need. I need. Uh, I need pay. Pagar? That's a new one. Oh, I need to pay. <laughs> Not a proper English. <laughs> Yo quiero una ensalada. Yo, when are you cutting this off? How long have you been going? Um, once I get these last set of lessons. Nice. Uh, which is, I'm not sure how many more. They're, they're, they all take like uh, two or three minutes for each set of lessons. So, um, I need Taco Bell. I, I, don't, I don't even know Kiro because of the Taco Bell commercial. So there's this restaurant, Taco Bell, in the United States that's very, that serves Mexican food. And they have that stupid dog that says, Yo quiero Taco Bell. I don't know why I thought of that. I want... It doesn't say Taco Bell. It says salad. I don't want a salad. I kind of added not in the middle of there because I don't want a salad. I need to pay. Alright, continue. I've reached level one in restaurant, or El Restaurante. Uh, 
Okay, so I guess we're going to do one more in family, and then I'll probably uh, end this or if, if I want, or should I do shopping? How many are shopping? Well, I have to get the last lesson in family before I can do shopping. So, let's do some family. La bicicleta. La bicicleta. Mi hijo es inteligente. Hijo. Okay, so I haven't learned son yet, so it's gotta be son. I'm trying to guess what Iho is without looking it up. My son is... Are you sure you want... What? No, I don't want to quit. I think I suddenly... My son is intelligence. Yes! I... Mi familia es interesante. My family is... My family is... Interesante it means interesting. So many words are similar in Spanish and English. Like is is s, my is me, family is familia, like the correct living, very interesting, muy, muy interesante. Un gato y un perro. A cat or a dog? Or no, or a. Or is it O, E, uh, or the, uh, E, 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 a cat and a dog. That just seems like too many pets to me. No, I don't want, somehow if I press a certain button on the mouse, it tries to go back or something. Tienes. Do you... Have a dog. Yes! Mi familia es excelente. Mi familia es interesante. I should practice like pronouncing these. Mi hija es inteligente. Oh, my hija. My daughter. So, hijo is son, hija is daughter. Yeah, I gotta memorize that. Intelligente, intelligent. Okay, I think, so I went through, I reached level one in family. So it looks like, um, I got level one in intro, phrases, travel, restaurant, and family. I guess the next one's gonna be shopping, but, I've been going for, I'm not even sure how long, close to an hour maybe, I'm not even sure. So, I'll come back and read some of these chats. Um, someone says, at, oh, the person that says I should go to Scandinavia now says I shouldn't because it's the shittiest place on earth. I heard it's beautiful there. I mean, I'm, um, and the, peop the people in the scenes are, are like, the sites are beautiful, and the people there are beautiful. I'm not sure about, like, anything about anything else that's going on there. But I heard it's, there's supposed to be, like, lots of mountains and stuff. So it's, uh, Gabriel says, Vamo, uh, You're saying say hi to Dustin. He's actually sitting behind me, so hi to Dustin from Arthur, the store who is from uh, Sweden. Arthur, Arthur, que se hermano? What's up, dude? Someone's giving me the clappy emojis. Uh, it's actually cold. It's really cold. Um, you know what I was thinking? That sucks. How long does it get in the summertime there? You know, I was thinking, like, as you... I know, I'll, tell, I'll tell you later. I need to, like, put this up next time so I don't, I don't have to, yeah, like... on this. And also, when you read this, look at the camera and, like, address them, you know? Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm, like, reading down. I, I realize that. But, yes. Okay. So, I, I think this is a good place to stop for now. I did several of these lessons, so it looks like the next time I'm going to learn some shopping. Um, and then I can try out the test uh, at the very end to see if I do get there. But yes, I got through at least level one of like phrases, travel, restaurants. I'm not sure how many levels there are of each individual ones of these. If anyone's actually made it that far, maybe you can let me know like in the comments. But um, yeah, I got 180 XP. 
uh, out of one, which is my goal. So maybe I'll try to change my... I'll play around with my goals after I'm done with the stream here. But thank you for everyone for watching. I had, I think the highest I saw at one point was like 45 people maybe around there. Uh, that's really cool. Uh, I average around like 30 for most of the stream, so thank you for everyone that watched it. Um, if you're watching this later, and you actually sat through this whole thing, then thank you for everyone that watches this later or watches it later when it gets uploaded permanently to YouTube. Thank you very much. Um, all the positive comments that people are saying, and then they're all laughing at me saying, ha 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 That's kind of cool. But yes, I mean, the lessons are kind of like easy. So I guess when I progress with this, the lessons will start to get uh, harder. Um, I know there's, they also have flashcards in here that they'll give you flashcards of words that you've learned. So I'll have to go over this before I do my next lesson. Um, basically, I want to start doing uh, two or three of these a week, maybe, live, uh, for like an hour. Um, I don't know if I should do it more or less than that. I mean, I'll see the more often I do it, the better. But I don't know if you actually want to watch this like every single day. But, so I'm, I think I want to do it maybe like three days a week. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do it next. So if I, if I do it three days a week, I should probably do it on Saturday. So I'll probably come back and like start the next lessons on Saturday maybe. I'm not sure. But, you know, again, thank you for watching. Uh, which was gracias to everyone that came out and, and, and watched me try to like butcher the Spanish language. And hopefully I'll get better at it if I do it like three, day, three times a week is my goal is to try to do this three times a week. So, um... Adios, amigos. Ciao. Uh, ending the stream now. Uh, how do I do this?